Hello everyone, my name is Evan Jacobs and welcome to another edition of Boxing Time TV. We have an interesting fight here. This is, I believe, a top top ranked fight. I'm almost positive. It is going to be on July 2nd um, and it's going to be at the MGM Grand in the bubble. Uh, Jamal Herring versus Jonathan Akendo. Um, and yeah, let's just get right to it. This, For however long this lasts, this should be pretty entertaining. Herring is 34, uh, Akendo is 36. Herring uh, is is 5'10", uh, Okendo's 5'4", this is super featherweights, 130, reach 70 for Jamal Herring, 67 for Jonathan Okendo, uh, Jamal Herring, 21 fights, 2 losses, and Jonathan Okendo, 31 fights and 6 losses. Um, this is a 12 round fight, 3 minute round, 10 point must scoring system, no mandatory 8 count, 3 knockdown rule waived. And let's just get right to it. These guys come out. And what is interesting about this fight, um, and I don't know if I've already said this, but once again, my name is Evan Jacobs. Welcome to another edition of Boxing Time TV. Um, what is interesting about this fight is that Jamal Herring, Southpaw, um, doesn't have a ton of power. It doesn't seem um, as he only has uh, 10 knockouts and 21 wins. So, you know, when I see that, I... I, I Figure he's fair, uh, probably a fairly average puncher, but he's a southpaw. That should cause Akendo some problems. But um, Herring also is, um, you know, he has two losses. One of them, um, it was a TKO um, in the 10th round. So he can be stopped. Um, I think ultimately Akendo is um, a, a, a harder puncher. I think, um, I think he has 31 wins and then 19 of them are by knockouts so i think that he's a harder puncher but but the thing is will jamal herring take him out of the fight in such a way that it makes his power not not matter because that gives akendo the proverbial puncher's chance which makes this an interesting fight and as you can see so far jamal herring kind of fighting from a distance coming coming in and out not not really allowing akendo to kind of get set so you know this is this is just interesting. It, it, this is an interesting fight. Happy to be providing it to you here on Boxing Time TV. Um, I apologize last week about the bout I had to upload in two parts. It just it just wasn't kind of uploading any other way. And you know I I, I spoke about this. Um, you know I, I at one point when this whole COVID thing started, I was doing one of these a day. Then it became twice a week. Um, doing it on Saturday, Sunday, and now I do it once a week. And um, I, I I started doing fights that you know had been were being talked about, but I didn't know if they were going to happen. Now I'm kind of just taking the the attack of I'm seeing what's coming up on the boxing schedule. And normally, you know, I, I've been doing fights months out, but my feeling is you know seeing what's coming up on the boxing schedule, I'm I'm just trying to you know kind of kind of keep up with that kind of you know just continue to be within the interest of the actual sport. So. You know, that's why you're seeing these these fights and I'm finding out about them and, you know, I'm, I'm just making them. If, if, if there's other fights that I think that I can, you know, put together, I certainly will. Um, and, you know, at least do two a week as, as I, you know, at minimum I want to do is four of these a month, you know, but we will uh, see. Anyway, I've spoken a lot and, you know, so far Jamal Herring kind of just having his way with Jonathan Akendo. Um uh, you know, we have a lot of, you know, interesting things happening in boxing. There's talk of Fury Joshua in 2021, and that and that's exciting. And, uh, oh, oh, right there, Jamal Herring tagging Jonathan Akendo. So, you know, we'll have to see if that bout gets uh, gets uh, made. It's, it, it's looking like that's going to happen a lot quicker, obviously, than like the Deontay Wilder-Joshua fight, um, and even to some degree the Wilder-Fury fight. Although they are slated for a rematch. And wow, Akendo taking that, that round. So Jamal Herring down on points so far against Jonathan Akendo. Can Akendo, you know, do something? You know, can he do this? And he's and he's cracking Jamal, Jamal Herring now. And we'll see if that proverbial puncher's chance, you know, can can manifest itself into Jonathan Akendo seizing the opportunity in this fight because he's clearly an underdog. You know, that's that's one of the things that um one of the uh, people on, on uh, the Sports Illustrated podcast that I, that I listened to said, you know, so many of these bouts were, you know, you could just look at them and you could see kind of who was supposed to win. And so that's, you know, that's always kind of dis disconcerting. And, you know, that, that I, I think hurts boxing in that, in that regard. But at the same time, 
you know, boxing is the theater of the unexpected. There can be upsets. And, you know, um, Cassius Clay Dillashaw just got a good victory this past week. I, I don't remember the fighter's name. But, you know, this is... This is, there is room for upset in uh, any fight, even when it doesn't seem like it's going to happen. I mean, you know, we saw that with Andy Ruiz versus Anthony Joshua to, to, to look at just a big example of that. Sorry, I took a drink of water here. Once again, you are watching Boxing Time TV. If you like what you're seeing, please like, comment, and subscribe. Please share these links. Please tell your family and friends. And let's just make this, you know, let's just get people watching. Let's blow this out. Let's make this the, you know, I, I, I just want people watching. I want people subscribing. I want, I want all of that. And it would be, it would be great, you know, just to, just to continue to build this up. I have no plans on stopping doing this. I just enjoy doing this. I do it for fun kind of my contribution I, I figure I wanted to do a podcast why not do one in a different way and so far in this round I think Jamal Herring is winning although I thought that in the last round and it looks and then Akendo took it so Akendo appears to be doing less and, and you know Herring pressing pressing forward but you know the the uh, judges are seeing things that maybe I'm not I'm not seeing and this is you know potentially you know a much closer fight than I am uh, witnessing And now Herring going, going to the body. And he has kind of like what I like to look at as sort of like a stabbing style. Comes in and breaks fighters down that way. And we'll see if he's able to do that against uh, Jonathan Okendo. Who is cracking Herring back. You know, it's not like he's, you know, he's... Both these guys are in this fight. Although Jamal Herring just sort of, I believe, taking advantage of certain things. All right, and so now we are two rounds in, and uh, both fighters are breathing heavy. Once again, judges giving it to Jonathan Akendo. One judge giving it, wow, 10-8 to Jamal Herring, and another judge giving it to Jamal Herring. So let's see. Uh, it's a close fight after uh, after three rounds with uh, John, Jonathan Akendo only up by one point. So now let's see if Jamal Herring kind of turns it on here or if Jonathan Akendo continues to kind of do the things that you know he's been doing that the judges have liked although Jamal Herring right there going to the body and I have to think that's going to pay dividends for him here in what he hopes to achieve and looking at the record of Jamal Herring spot Lamont Roach um Art uh Hovaniason, uh Dennis Shafikov which um I believe uh Shafikov beat him um, in, in, that was a, a 10th round, uh, stoppage. So, you know, we have some rec recognizable names. I'll look at the record of Jonathan Akendo and, um, here, we'll take that. We'll look at the record of And, you know, speaking of uh, coronavirus, you know, there's, you know, spiking in a lot of areas. And it's just, you know, why is this stuff happening? Why, and, 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 and why is it happening in certain areas now? And, 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 you know, just basically, I just think the best thing we can all do is just stay as safe as we can. Um, you know, this thing is opening up. And it's kind of like, I, I think, you know, it kind of uh, has to. And I think that, um, you know, there's... There's there's only so much quarantining and whatnot that we can do it, 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 as far as it being sustainable in the U.S. economy. And maybe I'm wrong. And there's a lot of people that probably know a lot more about this that I know know a lot more about this than me. But I think that honestly, wearing a mask in public, you're certainly not hurting yourself. And Jonathan Akendo cracking Jamal Herring pretty nicely here in the third round. And Akendo came to win this fight. And it's a question of can he? And, and look at it right there. He's... He's tagging Jamal Jamal Herring and Jamal Herring kind of being backed up for the moment. And we'll see if Akendo can kind of, you know, maybe get something together here. These guys share an opponent in Lamont Roach. Um, the uh, Akendo's fought the bigger name fighters in Johnny Gonzalez, Abner Mares. Um, so, yeah, it is. Uh, 
It's, uh, this is a, a highly interesting encounter. Oh, wow. And Okendo pushing Herring back against the ropes. And, you know, right right now, it, 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 this is a very, very interesting fight. Here I thought that that, that uh, Jamal Herring was going to come out and just be slick and dazzle Jonathan Okendo. But you have Okendo now, you know, really making, you know, making a uh, case for himself that, you know, I mean, he, he's made the case. I mean, he's winning and he's landing a lot. Let's see what the judges say after this. I don't know how they would give that round to Herring. Although they're saying Herring's breathing heavy, Okendo's breathing heavy. Okendo has a swollen eye. Uh, one judge has it even. One judge gives it to Okendo. The other judge gives it to Okendo. So Okendo now up by three points. As we move into the fourth round, can Jamal Herring keep landing on Jonathan Okendo and, and make that eye worse? Or is Okendo going to just keep coming forward and catching Jamal Herring? This is uh, an interesting fight to say the least. Oh, wow. And, J and Jamal Herring coming forward and landing. And folks, we have a really, really interesting fight here. You know, here I was thinking this was just going to be a showcase for the skills of Jamal Herring. And he's shown skills, but Jonathan Akendo has come to win. These two are very, very evenly matched. Only two years apart in age. They're on the older side for fighters. But these guys, you know, I mean, just comparatively, they're on they're on the older side. And this is uh this is an interesting fight. And and I I I think that you know ultimately Jamal Herring's skills are gonna kind of start taking its toll as he's now busting up John Jonathan Akendo, but Akendo's there landing, and it's uh this is gonna be interesting as this as this fight continues to unfold. Once again, you're watching Boxing Time TV. My name is Evan Jacobs. If you like what you're seeing, please like, comment, and subscribe. Please share these links with people. Please tell people about this simulated boxing website. Like, I, like I've said, I always wanted to do a boxing website. Couldn't really figure out how to do it. And then I thought, why not do a simulation where I can talk about the fight, give a kind of an opinion, call the fight, and, yet, and also show a fight instead of just doing conjecture, which I love the conjecture sites. And, and, you know, and, and I love those kind of pod podcasts. I just... You know, thought maybe I could do something a little different on my end. And if you do like also what you're hearing here, you can also find me on Instagram, Boxing Time with Evan. Please, uh, you know, give me a give me a follow on there. And uh, it's, you know, this in many ways it's it's kind of a mirror to what's happening here. I push Boxing Time TV a lot to try to keep them kind of in conjunction with each other. But you know, at the same time. Um, you know, it also, I, I try to report boxing news and it's easier to report now just because there isn't obviously as much of it, but we're getting more of it and there's a lot more to report since, you know, things are opening up despite, you know, spikes and whatnot happening. Folks, I'm going to have to turn on a fan because it is, it's getting a little hot. All right, I hope that fan isn't too loud, though I'm sure you'll be able to hear it. They're saying that Akendo's now tired and has a swollen eye. One judge has that even. Another judge gives it to Herring. Another judge gives it to Herring. So right now, Akendo only up by one point. As we go in, this is a pretty evenly contested contest. And, you know, John Jonathan Akendo doing nice work with the left hand. He's going to probably want to crack that more. Uh, he took some shots in that last round. And that's the thing is, Herring is economical with his punches. And when he throws him, he lands. But I think that's what's giving Akendo kind of a, a shot to be more in this fight than maybe he would be. And if I'm Jonathan Akendo, I go against the ropes and try to catch Herring with something. That, to me, seems to, to be the best bet. But you never know. Maybe pressure could also do that as well. He had some good moments there. In, I, I want to say it was the third round. And now Jamal Herring really moving in, really kind of finding himself. And now, just as I say that, Herring gets tagged. All 
Oh, and Jamal Herring just landing his shots. He's running the number on Jonathan Okenda. And Her Herring, to his credit, is letting his hands go more. Like I'm saying, I mean, I never get it right. I say the guy's economical, he starts letting his hands go. I say he throws a lot of punches, he doesn't do anything. So, I can never win. But that's the thing, though. Okendo's in this fight, and Okendo's hitting, is really hitting Herring back. And going to the body is, uh, is uh, Herring there. And, you know, I give Akendo credit. He's trying, and he's landing here. He's taking a lot of shots in this in this round, but I don't know. Maybe he's evened it up here in the final minute. And these guys are very, very evenly maxed. This is a very, very solid, solid fight. I'm sure when it happens, it'll be fairly similar to this. And now Akendo going, going to the body. He's having He's had some success there. We'll see what the judges say. But uh, Okendo punctuating a decent round. He's not out of this, folks. Oh, now Herring has a swollen eye. Folks, we are getting into it here as these two guys go back and forth in a very, very entertaining fight. And Jamal Herring taking that round on all three judges' scorecards as we move into the sixth, sixth round. And Jamal Herring up by two points now. This is the first time in the fight I, I think that he's been ahead. So now, you know, both these guys are swo swollen eyes. And, uh, you know, it, it's going to remain to be seen. Can, you know, who is, who is going to wilt? And, and, you know, Okendo, you know, having, you know, standing in and landing. And, and, and we, uh, I believe he, he hits harder. This should be very, very interesting as this continues. Oh, and going to the body is Jonathan Okendo. I hope I haven't called him Fred Okendo. I'm sure that I probably have. As a kendo, the uh, the uh, heavyweight, who somehow is still in the picture, I think suing, still suing for a title shot of some sort. Oh, and Herring landing. Oh, and taking some shots in the process. Oh, and pushing Okendo into the ropes. He wobbles Okendo. Oh, and now he's got a Kendo hurt. He keeps going to the body. He's punching him now. Oh, and he just, yeah, and he's, he, wow. Jonathan Akendo really taking some punishment in this round. Maybe this is the round that Jamal Herring either stops him or Jamal Herring kind of starts taking over this fight. It remains to be to be seen, folks. But I'm telling you, Jamal, Jamal Herring having a very good, good round. He came out and, uh, he, John, Jonathan Akendo has been with him all the way, but just right now, Jonathan Akendo seems to be wilting under the pressure and pinpoint punches of Jamal Herring. Oh, and he's got him wobbled now. Oh, and he continues to uh, do it. And uh, Jamal, Jamal Herring showing good, good defense, not getting counterpunched as much. Although Akendo came out in this round. And that's the thing is that, you know, Akendo right now not throwing a lot of punches. And Jamal Herring just running, running, running the numbers here on Jonathan Akendo. That's one thing, though. Akendo's a tough guy. He can take a lot of this. We'll see. I mean, he has six his six losses. Um, oh, I, I only think been stopped twice, but still, he's a tough guy.
I'm going to the body now, bringing it, bringing it downstairs to the body. Oh, and just punctuating this round is Jamal Herring. Wow, or J Jamel Herring, I should be saying. I apologize if I've been saying his name wrong the whole fight. Wow, and Akendo's eye swollen shut. Herring has a swollen eye. Jamel Herring now up 10-8, 10-8, 10-8. All three judges score cards. That's without even scoring a knockdown. So he's now up by eight points as we move into this the seventh, the seventh round, and you know this this fight can be can be stopped in any second, and, and you know, but you never know. If Akendo can kind of close the eye of Jamal Herring, it's an it's, you know it's it's kind of a, a fight by attrition at that point. Oh, Jamal Herring just punching him into the ropes, and you know the, this game doesn't really stop fights um, when a guy has a swollen eye or a guy has a cut or so. I don't see this being stopped anytime soon. So, I mean, you know, Kendo obviously doesn't know that, but he, time is kind of on his side. He's got to just to let his, let his hands go. Unless, of course, he's going into survival mode now and just is, is going to try to just not be a punching bag and just, you know, he'll try to survive and come out, come out, you know, cleaner. And now Jamal Herring, like, like not letting his hands go. How's Akendo hurt? And now he's letting Akendo kind of get back in the fight. Akendo cracks him with a left hand. And now Akendo's cracking him to the, to the body. I'm telling you, Akendo's finding all these little moves that if Jamal, Jamal Herring's not there late in this fight, uh, it's going to be a problem because he will have taken away maybe his legs with all those body shots, shots to the, shots to the head. It, you know, there's a lot that can happen. Oh, I'm just punching, punching him into the ropes now. And J J Jamel Herring just landing on Fres on Jonathan Akendo, taking this, uh, you know, taking this fight, really kind of pulling, really kind of pulling ahead. And I'm really hoping that if it keeps up like this for another round, that the judges stop it. Just I just don't like seeing it. It gets to be kind of boring for all of us here. We know what we've seen. We've talked about the goings on in the world of boxing. And, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, uh, entertaining. All right, so now they're saying Akendo's eye is swollen shut. Herring has a swollen eye. Jam Jamela Herring taking that 10-7, 10-7 on two judges' scorecards. 10-7, 10-7 on all three judges' scorecards. Herring has really pulled ahead here. He's up by 17 points now. So it should be, uh, it remains to be seen. Oh, and now Herring just punching Akendo along the ropes. And, uh, you know, Akendo pretty much in survival mode now. And, um, you know, we'll see if Jamal Herring, you know, I, I don't know that he has the power to stop him, but I think, you know, punches and bunches could certainly get the job done. You know, he, he certainly landed a lot on, on uh, Jonathan Akendo. So we will have to see.
Oh, just continuing to land is Jamal Herring. Oh, and comes through with an overhand with an, with an overhand right, driving Akendo into the ropes. And, uh, you know, Akendo has taken a lot of shots here. We'll see. We'll see what happens now. But this is, uh, this is uh, you know, we're seeing a lot of... Uh, a lot of skill here from Jamel Herring, and just one gets the feeling that you know if he could, if he could really turn up, turn up the gas, and turn it up, he could probably, he could probably stop a Kendo, because a Kendo, you know, he he's he's just kind of been taken out of this fight. It happened quick. The first five six rounds, a Kendo was right there with Jamal Herring. I'm just sorry, Jamel Herring, landing with him. Punch, punch, punch for punch, staying in, and, and Okendo was even ahead. But well, I want to say the first four or five rounds. But then Jamel Herring just kind of stepped it up, and you know, sort of used all that against him, and it was a pace that Okendo could not keep up. But Herring has to worry about you know if he slows it down too much, thinking that Okendo's done. Oh wow, and he has Okendo rocked, and now he goes to the body. Yeah, this is this is. They're going to want to stop it. Come on. Do we, do we really need to see any more of this? Akendo's very tired. His eyes swollen shut. It's going to be another 10-7 across the board for um, Jamal, Her Jamal Herring. I'm sorry, 10-10-9. Um, so 10-7, 10-7, 10-9. So we will, we will have to see. And I have a feeling I think it could get stopped this round just because Okendo, just because of the way that he's been fighting, he's getting punched into the ropes. He's not, he's not really doing much of anything. Do we really need 9, 10, 11, 12, four more, four more rounds of this? And now you know you're seeing Herring take, take chances, not trying to get out of the way of the punches as much, be just, just because he knows. What's coming back at him isn't isn't anything he needs to worry too much about. Jamal, Jamal Herring just ta tattooing John Jonathan Akendo. Um, once again, my name's Evan Jacobs. This is Boxing Time TV. If you like what you're seeing here, please like, comment, and subscribe. Please ring the bell. Please, please share these links with family and friends. We always appreciate that. Always appreciate getting more subscribers. I know this isn't the biggest thing in the world. I'm not really on it like maybe I should be. You know, just for me, this is fun. It's a way to contribute to the boxing convert conversation. And look for a moment. Like uh, Herring landed a right hand that really, really wobbled a Kendo. But now Kendo just taking some uh, shots and getting just punched into the ropes. And, uh, you know, Herring, for his defense, really, you know, his defense has improved. He's just, he's fighting a lot better. Oh, wow, oh, wow. And he wobbles a Kendo. He wobbles a Kendo. And, and, you know, it's just, I mean, everything he's throwing is landing. It's a, uh, it's a, uh, it's a, uh, it's a, uh, you know. It's, it's just, it's very, very one-sided now. It's not the kind of thing that I think needs to continue. And now you're just seeing Heron. I mean, this is his bread and butter. He's moving in and out. He's pounding... Jonathan Akendo. And uh, Akendo, to his credit, is trying. He just cannot make it work for him. And uh, Akendo's very tired and his eyes swollen shut um, still. And uh, Herring's breathing heavy, has a swollen eye. 10 7, 10 9, 10 7. We're heading into the 10th round. 
And I'm telling you, they could stop this at any time. I don't think anybody would really uh, care. And, um, you know, Jamel Herring, you know, both guys gave a really good per performance. It was just, I felt, you know, I, I, I just saw Jamel Herring just sort of taking this over. And he has. I didn't expect it to be as close as it was for as long as it was. Oh, and he wobbles a kendo. He punches a kendo into the ropes. Kendo's trying. Oh, and he wobbles him with a shot to the body, comes up with a shot to the head. Wow. Oh, and he goes to the body. Oh, and now he lands another right hand. Man, Jamel Herring, just a performance, a tough performance. Totally is taking Jonathan McKendo out of this. And, uh, yeah, I'm telling you, they can stop this at any time. There's no point in it continuing. If the computer would just do that, I think we would all be taking kind of, you know, we would all be happy for that. Oh, wow. And he wobbles, and he wobbles uh, Okendo. Oh, and comes upstairs with, a, with, a, with, a, with an uppercut. You know, I don't like calling for these stoppages. I'm just saying these things reach a point where they're so one-sided. Come on, do they really need to continue? Oh, and going to the, bo uh, going to the head and the body. Jamel, oh wow, oh wow, and he hits him with an uppercut and he wobbles him. And, you know, Akendo survives. Wow. And, well, let's see. Let's see what happened. Um, Kendo's very tired and his eye is swollen shut. It's the story of the fight. 10-7, 10-7, and 10-7, or oh, 10-8. So 10 7, 10, 7, 10 8, all for Jamal Herring. I mean, he has just piled up the points. He has 39 more points than Jonathan Akendo. Goes to the body now. Oh, and, and coming up to his wow, and you have a Kendo kind of throwing, throwing back. Oh, and a Kendo just taking shots and just, just, just hurting Jamel Herring. Wobbles him. Oh, and just punching him into the ropes. And just, and right now, Jamel Herring just landing hard on 
Jonathan and Kendall. There's not too much more that I can say about that. Looks like we are going to see the 12th round. Unless, of course, this gets hopped, which I don't see that happening. And, I mean, they could have stopped this two or three rounds ago. I don't think anybody would have uh, complained just because of the dominance of Jamel Herring. Oh, and touching him to the body now. So now he's got him just, just up against the ropes. And you have a Kendo. Kendo landed a sneaky right hand right there. And now he's going landing to the body. Will he be able to mount something as we go into the, the, final, the final round? Oh, and he wobbles him again with a body shot. Jamal Herring pretty much hurting Jonathan Kendo with everything he throws. Oh, I'm going to the body. All right. Jonathan Akendo, uh, you know, really, really behind, losing on 10 8. 10 8, 10 7, 10 10 8. So uh, let's go into the final round. Can Herring pull this off? Can he land? Can he summon something in this round? Is he going to go for broke against Jamel Herring? You'd like to think so. I don't really see it happening. Oh, and just going to the body. So Jamel Herring, you know, pressing, pressing forward. John, Jonathan Akendo looking for the opportunities, looking for ways to land, looking for ways to be awkward, but does not have what he had in the early part of the fight. It does not seem. As Jamel Herring is now just, you know, coming in and out, he turned him into a human punching bag, and he's, and he's going to the body. He's landing almost at will. Oh, and he wobbles him. Looks like Herring you know, was going to come close at that at that point. Herring just seems to lack the killer instinct. In order, in, in seeing how he sort of sets down on his punches, he sort of hits and pulls away. Oh, and he's landing. Going to the body, we're in the final minute. And uh, Herring lands hard on Jonathan Akendo. And we'll see. Can Akendo, you know, summon something? I mean, he would need a knockout to win. He's hopelessly behind on points. Doesn't mean that it can't happen. Anything's possible in the realm of boxing. And we're coming into the final 30 seconds of this, the 12th round. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Evan Jacobs. If you like what you're seeing, please like, comment, and subscribe. Wow, and Akendo just wobbled. Who knows? They could stop this with uh, less than 30, with less than 15 seconds to go. I'm just going to be all academic at, at this point. And yeah, it looks like Jamel Herring is going to take a very lopsided victory over Jonathan McKenna. In not a terrible fight. Judges are adding their scorecards. And the winner is Jamel Herring by 53 points total. 
The winner is Jamel Herring by unanimous decision. The fight lasted 12 rounds. Herring was not knocked down. has a swollen eye. Akendo was not knocked down. His eye swollen shut. Uh, Herring wins 118-100, 118-98, and 118-103. Thank you so much for watching. Tuning in to Boston Time TV. If you like what you see here, please like, comment, and subscribe. Please share these links with your family and friends. Give us a like on Instagram. Boxing Time with Evan is my handle. And we'll see you next time on Boxing Time TV where our motto is, why wait? Watch it now, then watch the real thing when it happens. And the real thing is going to be happening on July 2nd.